Watershed Delineation Hello everyone and welcome to this video about how to extract watershed delineation and calculating catchment area from digital elevation model dam by computing flow direction and using it in the watershed tool in ArcMap software. So in this lecture we will learn how to prepare your dam data. So in preparing dam data we will see how to mosaic dam raster and how to identify UTM zone and project your raster and in the process of extracting hydrologic information we will see how to use fill tool how to use flow direction and flow accumulation how to extract drainage line generation and how to create outlet or pore point manually we will see also watershed delineation and conversion of data in the end of this lecture we will see how to cut drainage line and dam here in this folder i have four dam rasters that cover my study area First, we should mosaic them into one dam raster. So, import rasters to ArcMap. To mosaic these rasters to new raster, click on Arc Toolbox, then go to Data Management Tools, Expand Raster and Raster Data Set, then click on Mosaic to New Raster. In import raster box, you drag and drop all rasters here. For output, create a new folder. You can name it dam and you should add extension pointif. Pixel type in this case is not optional. So give it 16 byte unsigned and for band numbers so give it one it is one band and click on ok to start processing once mosaic process finished we explore coordinate system of our raster so to do that right click on a raster and click on properties so here under source window scroll down to find coordinate system so coordinate system of this raster is wgs84 so this is as you see here in decimal degrees and we need them in metal unit not decimal degrees so we should project our raster so to project a raster which we, we need to identify utm zone for our study area so to find utm zone of the area 
so click on add button so click on this button and go to C folder then open program files x86 so click on ArcGIS folder then click on desktop and depending the installed version on your laptop so open it and find reference system then click on and select utm point shape so add it so click on add button now it is okay so so we need to label it to show the utm zone number so to do that so right click on the file and click on properties then click on label icon so you need to pick this in label name expand this arrow and select this zone in the row number three then click on ok so the so the utm zone of our area is 13 north so now go to your data frame and inside data frame so right click anywhere and click on data frame properties expand projected coordinate system then search and find appropriate UTM zone then click on apply with ok once you find your UTM zone properly to your area so now go to content section and right click on the raster select data and click on export data so here keep raster data set original and you need to to check data frame in spatial reference and here under spatial reference you should check data frame then define output location so click on add to folder here give it a name to your raster and select tiff for format then click on save so this will be my study area so i want to 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 crop it or i want to apply a mask for this area because this raster is very big for processing so to do that we can do it quickly by using drawing tool so click on this rectangle so click on rectangle and draw a rectangle around your working area that's if the working area or the raster is very big so let's do that to show you how so then i, I need to convert this the drawing shape to 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 feature so so here click on drawing and click on convert graphic to feature so click on this button then define the location of this working area so let's put it here and here we select shape file and click on save then click on ok so click on yes so you can move it to delete it so and click on the delete button so here as you see here this is the working area i want to apply some modification about it on it then click on okay 
so uh, to, to to apply a mask for this area so so let's go to spatial analysis tools and click on extraction and click on extract by mask then drag and drop raster here and drag and drop feature here then let's define output of my raster so let's do it uh, then click on save and click on ok so let's delete this raster and keep only the working area before processing any hydrological analysis we should process or rectify some error in our digital elevation model sinks and peaks are often error due to the result of the data so the fill tool locate and fill sinks or gaps and it remove peaks from digital elevation model so now let's apply the fill tool go to hydrology box and expand it then click on fill so double click on fill so you can go here to help to learn and to, to to read a little bit about fill tool so you can click on it and here and search for fill then click how fill work as as you see here in these diagrams that show you here we have a gap so by using fill tool the tool will fill this sink and here if you have some peaks so by using this it, this tool could remove peaks and here input surface raster so which is this one and output raster it creates a new folder and give it a name it is fill and click on save so here keep it that limit is optional and click on ok so once the process finished so we calculate flow direction so in hydrology click double click on flow direction then for input surface raster add fill raster here for output so click on folder this give it a name flow gear and click on save then click on ok so wait till the process finishes now we calculate the flow accumulation so double click on flow accumulation air input flow direction then output flow accumulation so click on this button and click on save then click on ok The results of flow accumulation can be used to create a stream network by applying a threshold value to select cells with a high accumulated flow. So to do that, go to map algebra and double click on raster calculator. Then here for output raster, so first define the up output raster before entering the formula so click on output folder so 
So I'll give it our name. And click on save. Then here under conditional, double click on con. So click on con here in the left side of comma. There is a condition. If the condition is true, then the right side of comma will be implemented. So we give it a condition. So to give it condition, so left click on the comma and double click on flow accumulation. So if the flow accumulation is greater than 300, it equals 1. This is to extract only very major drainage lines. I recommend you a range between 300 and 1000 to show only the main drainage lines. So then click on OK to start the processing. So to make to make it visible, hide these files. This drainage is a part of a raster file, is not a vector file. So we need to convert it to vector or to feature. So in hydrology, double click on stream to feature. So input stream raster and flow direction. For output, and click on save. Then click on OK. So now we will inspect these lines and identify a watershed. And we will see also how to identify or how to mark a, an outlet or a pore point for a watershed. So here this is my working area. In that study area, you see this area is not intersecting with any drainage line. So you see it, you see a clear boundary limits other lines. That means all drainage area is contributing here in this region. That means if I give an outlet here, the boundary or this limit should be remarkable automatically. To create a pull point, so we need to create a new shape file. So to do that, click on Arc Toolbox, and then go to your folder and right click. Then click on new and click on ship file. So give it a name. So feature type is point and to click on edit. To enter the coordinate system. So my coding system of my area is UTM zone 13 North. Then click on OK. So the point is added to the content sec section. So right click on outlet and click on 
edit feature and click on start editing click on continue so now you can cl close cat catalog so find your editor tool and click on create feature so click on this one and click on outlet so go and expand editor arrows so click on snap pin and click on snap pin toolbar so you what you need to do is to enable or light all these icons so it is okay now you can close it so now here in my working area i can give an outlet in this region after giving an outlet so go to editor and click on save edit then click on stop editing so next stage we will delineate our watershed for this outlet so in arctol box In hydrology, double click on watershed. Then here in input flow direction raster, so drag and drop flow direction raster, then input raster of feature for four point data. So we enter our outlet here. Here is not important, and for output, let's rename it watershed. Then click on save. So save it as a point diff and click on save. Then give OK to start the processing. This is the watershed boundary automatically generated by this tool so we need to convert this boundary to vector so to do that go to conversion tool and expand from raster to polygon then in input raster Add watershed output so let's define my output and click on save then click on ok so let's modify its color so let's put now color and for the outline so increase it lightly bit and modify its color to another color click on ok so now let's cut out our drainage line so to do that go to analyze this tool and click on ex extract then double click on clip so this for input feature then for clip feature which it will be the watershed and for output and click on save then click on ok
So to clip my DEM raster, so go to Spatial Analyze Tool and click on Extraction and Extract by Mask. Then here, Input to Raster. So we can input to Fill Raster. And here, Input Raster or Feature Mask Data. Then Output. So give it a name and click on save. Then click on OK. So thank you for watching this complete tutorial about how to extract and how to create a watershed and extract drainage line from them. See you for next video about choice.